So in today's video, I'm going to tell you what this thing does in a helicopter. Hi, I'm Rick James from the Pilot Teacher, and today we're going to be talking about the swash plate that you can find on every single helicopter. It's a genius piece of equipment, and it allows the helicopter to do what it can do. The job of the swash plate is to basically transmit the control inputs that I make with my hands into the blades on the helicopter. And it's a really, really simple device, but it works really, really well. And there's kind of several components to the swash plate. So first of all, you have what we call the fixed half. And the fixed half has the connections to my flight control. So there's three of them. And on pretty much every helicopter, there's only ever three push-pull tubes that come from my flight controls. Now these are connected through to my flight controls via a mechanical linkage, which goes all the way down through the bottom of the aircraft and through and up into the cockpit. And on larger helicopters, especially anything that's got over say five or five seats and over, also has hydraulic assisted flight control push-pull tubes um, just because the control loads on the main rotor are so high that without hydraulics uh, you're gonna get tired really quick when I have a hydraulics failure in this A-Star holy yeah your, your muscles get tired quick so think of it like the power steering in your regular car so the push-pull tubes uh, just below have um, hydraulic actuators connected to them and those hydraulic actuators are what are actually connected to the swash plate so as I make small control movements with the cyclic and the collective um, that increases the power being created on the push-pull tubes to move the swash plate so there's three of them on pretty much every single helicopter so this is called the station we have on the top we have the rotating half and the swash plate works together kind of as one unit so the fit the fixed half stays fixed and the rotating half stays uh, or rotates so as I move this main rotor here I'll move it too much because I'm in the hanger you can see that this bit can move and this bit stays put so in the swash plate we've kind of got two bearings we have a spherical bearing that allows the swash plate to to move around and then we have a just a regular bearing that allows this to rotate around the shaft and the way that the swash plate works is that it basically mirrors the control inputs made to the fixed half into the rotating half so when I raise the collective with my left hand what that is going to do is it's going to raise the entire swash plate up and when I lower the collective it lowers the swash plate down and what that does is it moves these pitch links and each pitch link is connected to a main rotor blade and so on this A-Star I've got three main rotors on bigger machines um, you can have four main rotors five six seven and I think even the, the big MI26 has got eight main rotor blades so um, you only have three push-pull tubes coming in but you can have up to eight pitch links coming off so it can be a big swash plate um, so what that does is as this swash plate comes up it moves every single pitch link the same amount and what that does is it collectively adjusts the pitch angle of each blade together so that each blade produces more lift and the whole aircraft raises vertically up. So that's when I move the collective, it moves the swash plate up and down. When I move the cyclic forwards, backwards, left and right, so what this is gonna do is I push forward cyclic, it's gonna tilt the swash plate in this direction. So what happens here is, as the pitch links come around, they're gonna be higher at the back 
and they're going to be lower at the front because the swash plate is going to be tilted like this and so it's going to put pitch on the blade here and then as the blade comes around it's going to have no pitch at the front so if you look at the main rotor as it's turning it looks like a disc so the disc is going to be matching the swash plate so if the swash plate is tilted this way the main rotor disc above it is going to be tilted this way so what that's going to do is it's going to push lift and thrust backwards and it's going to send the helicopter forwards and the same goes if i want to go right left or backwards the swash plate will just tilt in whichever direction my control movement goes to tilt the rotating disc on the top to move the aircraft now as you can see on the front from this photograph here um, this these control points are not where you would think they are you think you'd have the one at the front is right in the middle of the aircraft and then these would be 120 degrees later but they're not um, on the a-star the main rotor comes around this way and there's a thing called gyroscopic precession and what that means is when you've got a spinning disc or a spinning mass um, think of it like you know that uh, a top you used to play with as a kid you used to spin it and it used to spin on the on the table there when that's spinning if you put a force onto that spinning disc the reaction is going to take place slightly later now depending on the helicopter um, the angle at which that reaction takes place can be anywhere from say 10 degrees up to 90 degrees um, I think the offset on the A star is about 20 degrees early so when I push on the, the cyclic it's going to drop the swash plate but it's not going to drop it like this it's actually going to drop it like this so that it puts the force on the spinning disc about 20 degrees before and then the reaction happens 20 degrees later which is actually in line with the front of the helicopter so that's why if you have a look at a swash plate and the control linkages look in an odd place that's why it's because of gyroscopic precession so the engineers needed to figure out how early in the rotation of the main rotor blades do does the control input need to be made so that the reaction from the main rotor blades due to gyroscopic precession happens in the right place and in the A-star it's about 20-30 degrees to the left of the nose of the aircraft so that is basically a swash plate it's an awesome awesome device really really simple um, one of you may be thinking well what are these things here well these are called scissors and basically what it is is this is to ensure that the upper half the rotating half of the swash plate stays rotating at the same speed as the main rotor disc so that the pitch links don't get twisted and that just allows the swash plate to go up and down and we have one here too to keep the stationary part of the swash plate fixed to the stationary part of the aircraft so these are called scissors and that is pretty much it for the helicopter swash plate genius piece of design and engineering and without it there won't be helicopters so um, it's kind of like the the heart of a helicopter really so i hope you found that interesting hope it answered some questions for you i hope i was able to uh, explain it clear enough um, it can be a bit complex sometimes and hopefully i've explained it uh, in good enough detail so that you can understand it if you liked it hit that thumbs up button it really really helps the channel i will see you on the next one